With the arrival of the new year, a lot of things are changing in the movie industry. Probably the biggest and most recent change being Warner Brothers' concept of releasing all of the year's theatrical films simultaneously in theaters and on its HBO Max platform. There has been criticism from many corners in this regard, including from star director Christopher Nolan himself. This certainly won't change anything, and so the movie giant has just released a small HBO Max teaser with all the highlights to fuel the fans' anticipation. One of the highlights is a short clip from Godzilla vs. Kong that really packs a punch. You can see Godzilla coming threateningly out of the sea and King Kong giving him a direct punch. After that, this scene is already over. In terms of content, the teaser ties directly into the video footage released a few weeks ago in which Godzilla swims under the surface of the sea and Kong stands on land and roars. There's also more news for fans of the MonsterVerse blockbuster, and that is that the release date in the US is to be moved up by two whole months to March 26. Whether this will be the case in other parts of the world is presently unknown. What is certain, however, is that tomorrow, Sunday, January 24th, the first full-length trailer will finally be released, so if you don't want to miss out on that, subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications now. As Netflix already announced via Twitter in October, it's not holding back with concentrated celebrity power for Don't Look Up. The cast includes Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Kate Blanchett, Jonah Hill and music stars Kid Cudi and Ariana Grande. The Big Short director, Adam McKay, who's known for his special humor anyway, stages a kind of dark humor sci-fi comedy around the imminent impact of a giant asteroid. However, no one except for two space explorers are aware of it and warning all of humanity of the great disaster is not so easy since the two are anything but big shots in their field. In order to make themselves heard, the duo promptly starts a media-effective world tour in order to warn the population. Details on when Don't Look Up will be released on Netflix are not yet available. Pixar's latest film, Luca, is set to hit theaters in June. The first images, which were released a few days ago, are definitely looking pretty fancy and you get quite excited about summer. Content-wise, Luca is about a little boy who is about to have a long summer full of beaches, ice cream and pasta. Naturally, he doesn't enjoy it all alone, as he is with his new best friend Alberto. However, the two share a big secret, as they actually come from a far away underwater world and are in fact quite unattractive sea monsters as soon as they enter the water. On land, however, they are indistinguishable from normal humans, and so they try to make friends with human girls over the summer. Whether this succeeds so easily is of course doubtful. In any case, we are eager to see the next coming-of-age film produced by Pixar. Luca hits theaters on June 18, 2021. Just in time for the start of the movie year 2021, Warner Brothers is also providing us with new video footage of the second part of the iconic Space Jam franchise. While in the original 1996, basketball superstar Michael Jordan was still in front of the camera together with NBA co-stars and Looney Tunes characters, LeBron James will now assume this role. Directing the film is girl strip director Malcolm D. Lee after a lengthy development period while the script was written by Black Panther creators Ryan Coogler and Seth Ohansen. The release date for Space Jam – A New Legacy is July 16, 2021 in theaters and on HBO Max. Until now, there was hardly any information about the video game adaption Mortal Kombat. However, as the site Bloody Disgusting reported a few days ago, an official synopsis of the plot is now available. The central character of Mortal Kombat is supposed to be the MMA fighter Cole Young. Ever since he was born, he has been wearing some kind of dragon symbol on his skin, which eventually leads to an attack by Sub-Zero. Cole, who is increasingly worried about himself and his family's safety, seeks out the soldier Jax, who is also bearing a dragon symbol. Eventually, he gets to Lord Raiden's temple via detours where he prepares for his biggest fight yet against Outworld. As fans of the video games have surely noticed, Cole Young is a completely new character introduced into the Mortal Kombat universe, which supports the rumors that the movie will only be loosely based on the games. In the recently released preview images, you can get a good idea of what's to come, including the main character Cole, Sub-Zero, Jax, Kano and Zonya Blade. The exact look of Greg Russo's and Dave Callahan's adaption can be seen on HBO Max and in theaters starting April 16, 2021. Also among the many weekly movies coming to Netflix is a horror film from Justice League director Zack Snyder, Army of the Dead. The film features Dave Bautista, Ella Purnell and Ana de la Reguera and is set within the near future in the gambling metropolis of Las Vegas, which is under quarantine. 
The focus is on a mercenary team that senses the big money in the closed-off city, as you can already see within a few seconds of the big Netflix preview of 2021. In addition, there are already a number of images you can have a look at, such as behind-the-scenes footage as well as the core of the cast. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Snyder has also talked about the overall use of his horror film, saying that viewers will also be surprised by soothing moods in between the crazy heist scenes. As if that wasn't enough, Snyder has also ordered a prequel series directed by Matthias Schweighöfer as well as an anime series called Army of the Dead – Las Vegas. So the focus of the Netflix blockbuster is clearly towards the franchise. It is not clear yet when exactly Army of the Dead will be released. For Netflix, the year 2020 was a complete success from a business perspective. Not very surprising after all rarely have so many people around the globe been forced to sit at home in front of the screen. Well, the new year is already in full swing and Netflix isn't even thinking about shifting down a gear. Recently, the responsible parties released a small teaser in which one of the highlights was certainly Red Notice with Gal Gadot, Dwayne Johnson and Ryan Reynolds. The content is about an Interpol agent who works with an imposter to catch a genius art thief. A first look is also provided in the Netflix preview video for 2021, where you can gaze at a few funny moments and a highly explosive situation. An interesting story paired with one of the most high-profile casts imaginable at the moment. What more could you ask for?